What is up everybody? Welcome back to another ice fishing video. Today we're on this pond that I found on Google Maps that looked really good and really deep from Google Maps. Uh, most of the places around here that I checked the other day are really, really shallow and with ice season coming to a close, I need to make good decisions. It's supposed to rain a lot later today, which is going to absolutely destroy the ice. Today we're sitting on about six to seven inches of black ice, so I'm not worried with any rain. I'll fish in the rain, I don't care. The goal today is just any species we can, but I just bought these like raw tip up things. I don't know if you guys know what the HT Ice Rigger is or the iFish Pro or the Clamp Arctic Warrior. This is like the Brocraft version. Basically, it's just a raw tip up that you put your rod in and that clip when a fish bites it will go off and set the flag off. It's pretty cool. I have another one out there uh, and I'm really and I'm really excited to use it because I hate traditional tip ups where you have to hand line. I like rod and reel, so I'm excited to get something like this. But without further ado, let's get into this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We're getting so close to 5K subs. And let's catch some fish. It's funny, I think it's reading the fish as a bottom. The bottom as a fish. I don't know why I can't speak. I just, English is not my, my thing, I guess. Even if it is my first language. Maybe like, it's naturally not. Maybe someone's just gonna start speaking Latin to me and I'll know exactly what they're saying. All right, so I just got a little jigging wrap and we're just gonna drop it down to the bottom. It shouldn't take long. Multiple fish down there. Here fishy comes. Ooh, we got a nibble. First drop. There we go. It's a good fish, whatever it is. Oh, it's a, it's a bass. Hey, little guy. That's pretty sick. We got ourselves a little largemouth. There's more fish on the screen, so I'm just gonna unhook her quick and put her back. Pretty mighty little start. Surprised I have a minnow out there and that hasn't gotten eaten. I don't understand. It's reading the fish as a bottom. Like, that's how tight to the bottom they are. See? Probably another bat. Oh, no. Just a sunfish. Love it, love it when they're eating the jigging wrap. I was like, why is he coming all the way up? You know, just nonchalantly destroying fish easily. Bring it away from him. Here he comes, yep, he ate it. <laughs> just had to move it away from his face a little bit as a bluegill. Oh, it's a perch, aw, oh, damn. There we go. What do we got? Ho, 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 holy cow, holy cow, that's a nice perch, it's not, it's not a jumbo, but perch, perch around me are pretty hard to catch, so that's a pretty cool one, that's three species already, and like, I'm just like nonchalantly catching these fish, I can't believe that I never knew about this pond before, um, waiting for fish to come back, so I'm just gonna pound the bottom, bring them in, there's just so much pond to fish. Like, so there's laydowns over there. There's laydowns that extend out into the middle of the pond. There's this line over here that's in like 17 feet of water. It's like ridiculous. I just don't know what to fish. There's just so much water. There's a fish. Tiny, whatever it is. Nice little perch. He has no idea what's going on. He's just chilling. And there he goes. Yeah. <laughs> Literally went to push him back down and he's just he was like, wait, I don't want to get touched by human. There we go, that got eaten. That's a nicer fish, I think. Yep. Whatever it is. Nice perch, I think. Oh, it's a bass, it's another bass. He was pissed. <laughs> crushing them, boys, crushing them. Destroyed the jigging wrap. Now, if only we can get a nice bass. We'll see. The way this day's going, I wouldn't be surprised if we kept like a three or four pounder. Oh, my flag went up. Holy crap. Uh, uh, uh. It's a fish. There we go. What do we got? Oh, of course, it's a tiny perch. <laughs> That's funny. 
absolutely engulfed my hook. All right, thanks for riding. That was fun to see my flag go up. You can hear it too, so um, yeah. All right, let's send her back down. Put a fresh fat head on and you know, let it go down to the bottom. All right, that's set. The amount of perch in here, it's probably gonna go off pretty, pretty soon. <laughs> fish on the screen, or there were, but here they come. <laughs> He's over top of it. There he is. Oh, I don't know why my bail pops. Tiny perch. Oh, he's caught in my transducer. <laughs> not, it's not tiny. It's small for, for the northern states, but it's a fun little pond perch. There we go. Oh, it's a nice perch. My bail keeps popping, I don't know why. It's ridiculous. There we go, cute little perch. Yeah, put up your fins. Very pretty fish. There we go, oh my gosh, that's a nice fish. Or maybe not, it just felt nice. It's nice, but it's not huge. Oh, no. It was actually the biggest bass of the day. Um, my jig wrap got stuck on the ice and he popped off, that sucks. I'm not sure why they're completely ignoring the minnows. Damn, that sucks. There we go, that's another bass, I think. Yep. Nope, got stuck on the ice again, but we got him. <laughs> Why are they, they're completely ignoring the freaking, oh. They are completely ignoring the freaking trap. I have no idea why. It is such a beautiful day for ice fishing. It is not cold at all. It's like above freezing probably. Poles aren't freezing up, guides aren't freezing, lines ain't freezing. It's beautiful out today. There's supposed to be some rain later, but the way this weather is, I don't I don't know if it's actually gonna happen. I mean, it's gonna happen, but I don't think it's gonna be as bad as I said it was. Cue the clip where it changes to pouring rain while I'm ice fishing. But even if it rains, I'm gonna stay fishing because there's like six plus inches of good ice at this pond and it's not gonna get ruined from this Alrighty, so what you guys did not see is that a school of crappie came through and I actually caught like a 12 incher, which was pretty sick. So what, so the idea of today has changed. Instead of just catching fish, today we were on a crappie mission. On a pond like this where it's nice and narrow and deep, there can be some really big crappie. I'm not sure what there is for forage in here, so maybe I'm wrong on that. But what I did is I popped a bunch of holes that way and a few more holes that way so we can really get around and get these fish dialed. It's a shame I don't have pen optics because that's like the most perfect way to uh, hunt crappie schools since they move so quickly. But uh, with the amount of holes I drilled around here, we should be able to stay on the fish pretty well. I did get another flag on there, but it was just a dank perch as well. But let's get fishing and hopefully we can locate some monster crappie. So right now what I'm using is I'm just back on the Eurotackle Crazy Critter and the Lindy Tungsten Toad. Um, just has a pretty good presentation. Uh, the red eye on this really matches the, uh, the red of this Crazy Critter well, so. I'm confident that the crappie will like it. I actually caught the crappie on my jigging wrap, but there was other fish in the school and they did not want anything to do with my bait once I dropped that one down. So we're just gonna keep moving around, looking for fish. No, not wasting any time. Gonna drop directly on their heads when we see them. So, problem is with these schools, man, they just move so damn quick. There we go. Don't know what it is, probably not a crappie. Yeah, just a gill. Let's get it back quick. Oh, they're coming up hot for it. There we go, that was quick. We got just a gill probably. Oh, it is a crappie, let's go. Yes. 
There we go, guys. There's a, there's a crappie. We're gonna get him back quick because there's probably there's more fish down there, and they're probably crappie. There might be a fish on the screen. I can't tell. Yeah, there's a fish. Come on. There we go. What do we got? Oh, pumpkin seed. Nice one. The other, I caught another pumpkin seed earlier, but it was a uh, off camera. This will be another species for the 1,000 species challenge. So I'm pretty hyped about that. Oh shit! Flag, flaggy McGee. That is a fish. It looks like I think. I mean, it's gotta be right. There we go. Oh, that's a nice fish, whatever it is. It's a really nice fish. Eh, I guess it's not that big, but that's cool. Nice. He absolutely inhaled that minnow. Zero chance. All right, see you later, dude. He'll be all right. I got the hook out in a very good way, so he'll be fine. Oh, nice mark, nice mark, nice mark. Oh, there we go. Bluegill just looks like, I think. Oh, it's a crappie. Nice one. Nope, no, 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 nope, nope, nope. He broke off and there goes my glove. <laughs> Ugh. Jesus. Well, that sucks. That's soaking wet. Worth it for that nice crappie though. Look at that thing. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Love catching crappie. There's just not enough of them. Alrighty, see you later, dude. Oh, man, I better have another glove. It's getting cold with this rain. Oh, that's a nice fish. No, it's not. It's just a big gill, I think. Oh, I lost it. Damn it. Ugh. Oh. That was either a really big gill or huge crappie. Damn it. There we go. Holy shit. It's an, oh, that actually is a nice fish, whatever it is. Oh, it's a bass, isn't it? Or is that a huge crappie? No! You gotta be kidding me. Oh! You got hooked on the ice. That's frustrating. Oh my gosh, there's just so many fish on the screen. Oh my god, the bale needs to stop popping on this thing. Another nice fish. Dude, it's just a huge school of bass, isn't it? That's crazy. All right, let's get it back and hopefully catch another one. Dude, those are all bass. There we go. Oh my gosh, my reel keeps getting screwed up. It's another good fish. Literally a school of bass. Like, that's insane. Oh, <laughs> crazy. Look at that, guys. Another bass. Let's get this thing back quick and try to get more. There are so many fish down there. There's there could be like a three or four pounder in there, which is why I'm trying to get these, trying to get these fish back right away. Uh. There we go. Just a bluegill on the minnow head.
nice perch. This is my very last wax worm, so we're gonna have to make it count. There we go. What do we got? Decent fish. Pull the deuce out, it is a bass. Nice. On the Z-Viber, he crushed it. Are we on him? No, we are not. Look at all that water just flowing in. It's cool. Oh, flag. Flag, 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 flag. Oh, that's a nice fish. He's ripping. He's really ripping. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty decent bass. <laughs> this 12 pound test is no chance. Damn, he took a lot of line. So maybe he isn't that big. He's just out far. Yeah, he's not big. <laughs> Sick. He absolutely inhaled that minner. That school of bass probably actually came through here. All right, he's bleeding a little bit, so we're just gonna get him back. Oh, what a graceful release. Um, sorry, buddy. Well, hello there. Uh, my lens is a little foggy. I know this video ended kind of abruptly, but it was getting really, really wet out there from the rain, really, really cold, and is it hailing now? I don't know what's going on, but uh, everything that I have is just absolutely soaked. I'm hungry, it's two o'clock, and I have a ton of homework to do, so I figured I should just head back. I caught a ton of fish this morning. It was really fun, really fun using the new tip-ups, um, so that was a good buy, and I'm probably gonna get more. Um, hopefully we can get some bigger fish on them soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully we'll get some more ice fish soon. There's not much longer of ice season left, at least around here. I'm definitely making some more main trips and northern trips and we'll, we'll be ice fishing in, into May, maybe. I don't know, but uh, around here is not too much longer. So I was glad to get out when I could, catch the fish I could, and I hope you guys enjoyed as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and see you later.